I'm Kat and I teach at CrossFit Adaptation. Wednesdays at 8.30 p.m. I hope to see you on the mat soon. We're going to walk through three basic stretches that you find in many of our warm-ups. We're going to start with lizard lunge. Go ahead and come onto the ground, no mat needed for this. You're just going to spin around, starting in a table pose, stacking the joints. Go ahead and step the left foot out to the side of the hands. And a couple of options here. The back knee needs to be dropped in order to start to put a little bit more pressure onto the front knee. This stretches the back hip flexor, really opening up through that back leg. Also nice hip flexor into that front leg as well. If you're inflexible or you do lots of lifting, this is going to be challenging for you. You can keep the hands nice and straight. No need to just push all the way down onto the forearms. You can just stay nice and lifted as a modification. Each affiliate has lots of blocks and props. No need to go to yoga class to use them. So we're at Falls Church over here, you can just grab a block. If you have a little bit of flexibility and want to go down further, take your forearms, place them right on top of the block. That back foot can be dropped all the way down. That front foot, you can start to spin on the outer edge of the foot. If you're wearing shoes, no problem. It'll just give a little bit more with the shoes. Keep the hips nice and even. You don't want to roll onto one side. Keep the hips nice and level. We want to make sure the sacrum is all the way running across the back. Forearms can be down on the block. If you have the flexibility to go down, feel free to do so. And keep, avoid keeping the spine rounded. Just keep looking for nice long spine. We want to protect through the cervical spine. We spend most of our day rounded at our computer. So lastly, what we want to do is come to our wad and then round a little bit more, creating more tension. Transitioning out, come back. Straight arms. You're going to roll back onto the foot, creating support. Set the block off to the side just for now. Wiggle the foot to the middle of the mat, and then reach up, Samson stretch. We'll start with the foundation of the pose. Make sure that knee is stacked right over the ankle. Hips again are square. If you're off to the side, you're just going to be doing more damage to the hips. Keep the hips nice and even, nice and square. This can be really intense, especially if this is one of your first poses in a warm-up. So you can back off a little bit here. Pull the belly button back, and just keep that hip upright. If you want to take it deeper, nice variation, interlace the fingers, press the palms up. We tend to wear our shoulders nice and high in movements where we're grabbing the pull-up bar, we're doing kipping movement. So as you have the hands interlaced, Draw the shoulder blades down the back, nice and release. And you can see that, how that transitions a pose. Take the hands down. We're going to transition straight into pigeon pose from here. Just to engage that front leg, we're going to curl the back toes, lift the back knee up. Hug the knee in, and then slide the shin down. Back knee again is drop. These are nice supported poses. For most of us, we're going to have a little bit of a 45 degree angle. In an ideal world where we're not sitting all day, taking care of kids, driving to and from the gym, our shin might go parallel, but for most of us, it's going to be at an angle. Again, hips are nice and level. We're not dropping off to the side. We're keeping nice and upright. Again, grab your block if you need it. Slide it underneath the hip. This helps to open up that front hip flexor just a little bit more. We're stretching through that back leg, back psoas. And just stay lifted. If you want to take it a little bit more deeply, only if the hips are level, walk the hands forward and drop all the way down. From here, you can take the hands back. If this is really hard, one of my favorite poses to do is actually just to take this on my back. So you're just going to slide one leg around, stack that same foot right on top. And you're going to come into a recline pigeon pose, laying all the way on your back. Bend into the knee. You can just stay here. Hand can come onto that thigh and just start to roll the hip open this way. Same pose. You're just protecting the low back and also getting a little bit deeper into the stretch. Curl the toes, protecting the bones, protecting the joints. And if you want a deeper variation, pull that bottom knee in. Hands come around the back of the thigh. And make sure the shoulders aren't up. A lot of times we do lots of rounding, lots of pulling. Drop the shoulders down. This can also be done on a wall after a walk. Really nice. Using that front foot, pressing into a wall. And just releasing here. 
Drop both feet down, come back. Make sure you switch sides. We wanna make sure we're even on both sides of the body. If you have any questions, always ask me. Kat, hope to see you on Wednesdays on the mat. Thank you.